I'm gonna level with you guys. I don't know how we got here. Actually, that's not true. A lot of hard work. Today, we are gonna be looking at a three bedroom, four and a half bathroom, floating villa in Miami. It's got 2,700 interior square footage and about 1,500 square feet outside on the terraces alone. This is gonna be the most in-depth, awesome, fun, ignore my ballerina socks version of looking at the arc up in Miami, also known as the floating villa. I don't know if to call this a house or a boat, but I guess technically it is a boat since we are on the water and this thing does move. I'm super excited, and if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk. I'm a real estate agent in South Florida, but I'm gonna be showing you a floating house. So I'm still kinda in my zone. And if you'd like to see this, or if you wanna buy this, you know where to go. You know who to call. Let me know. Let's get started. Well, let's get started then. So the first thing that anyone's gonna notice, including myself, is the fact that all of these, the whole wall on this side of the, the boat is just a big piece of glass. So you can see, the no matter where you're docked, it's gonna be great, but right now, all I'm seeing is the open ocean. It's just, so, but on my right, this is where we're gonna get started with, we're gonna, just, we're gonna take it slow, because there's a lot to see. So as you come down here, there's a cool feature right away. Right away, we're two seconds into the video and there's a cool feature. So right here, you have a basically like a control pad for the engineer or just someone who wants to push a lot of buttons like me. But you can click a bunch of things and they all give you information. This one, if you click inclination, it lets you know how leveled the boat is. I think that's awesome. If you click the navigation, you can see a bunch of boat things that I'm sure if you are a captain or you know how this the, the dials in this work, then you would understand what this means. I have no idea. Tell, it tells you if things are working properly or whatnot, all that kind of stuff. But it's just cool that it's right here, available, quick access. So on a, in a house, you call these powder rooms, half bathrooms. I know on boats, we'll call it a day head, but you know, I'm a real estate agent and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it like it is. This is a half bathroom. There's no shower, half bathroom right over here. You got that really cool floating design of the toilet and the sink a nice rectangular shaped window, all the lighting you would need, perfect for the guests. As soon as they come in, powder room, really easy access. And then right where the camera is, this is the laundry room. You got Mila appliances, two, two washers, or a washer and a dryer, and then fridge. This is just a good like storage. Now coming out of that hall where I just was, it's gonna lead us into the, ah, uh, you know what? I don't know which one to do first. You know, let's start with the living room. I always start with the kitchen. Let's go to the living room. Beautiful. So you just like, you come into this living room. First of all, the furniture in here is beautiful. It's all like, this is like some, this is what you see in like a mansion, like at a really expensive, that's where we are. We are in a mansion. That's why you're seeing it. But just beautifully designed. I'd just like to point that out. A huge long couch. You're gonna have a lot of people over here. You're gonna be having a lot of parties, tons of sitting for everybody, two extra couches, the TV on the wall, and then everything in this room overlooks that beautiful view. And then behind this view is actually a terrace, but we'll talk about that once I go out that way and we walk around. Even the design right above the couch, hidden, perfect for if you wanna play speakers or little things that they have, like just how they have it over there, the Alexa. Hope it didn't go off. From here, it's gonna take us in to the dining table. Now I just love this. I love, first of all, I'm a huge fan of circular tables. The reason being is when you sit on a rectangle table, it, you, it's happened to you. I know it has. You're on one end, you, the, your friend's on the other corner side end, you can't even talk to them, you can't even hear what's going on. You got to the boring end, so you're like, what? what's happening on the fun side? That's not gonna happen with a table like this. Everyone's included, beautiful circular table. The best part is, it's got more views. Views everywhere, views from the front door, the terrace right behind me, and in the back, four corners of views and then this beautiful light fixture that kind of resembles a spiral swirl and then... Some lemons. It leads us into this huge kitchen. This is an open sized kitchen comparative to what you would see in a luxury mansion or even a luxury penthouse. This is the kind of kitchen that you would see. Start off right here, Mila. We're gonna have the best, only the best. Wine cooler. It's got bottles of champagne because that's what you're drinking when you're here. Mimosas. 
You know, any, this is such a cool thing. It's so cool. You have a huge island, massive, and it's got rows and there's four, eight, 12 rows of storage of induction Mila stovetop, completely flat. And then right above me, check this out, this vent actually, not only does it have these lights as you'd expect, it actually has lowers. So when you're cooking, the smoke is not going all everywhere and it's really just making it like a, actually I'll just show you, I'll just show you. And as you can see, lowers right down. And that's when you, you know, throw that towel on your shoulder. You get the, exactly, you know what I'm talking about. Check out all the storage going all the way around. Double sink right here, perfect. And then one really cool feature that I don't know if you've seen before, all you do to open the dishwasher, and then to close it, you just simply, it closes itself. Beautiful. Lighting underneath here, gorgeous backsplash, outlets, because tons of phones are gonna be charging, because they're gonna be dead from filming all the videos. So this is actually a Mila steamer. This is where you steam your, your vegetables and other things. Who steams? I don't know, but it's there for you. Coffee machine, and then an oven on that side. This kitchen is really inspiring, to say the least. It's just gorgeous, it has everything you need, views, everyone's included. So as we come into here, they've thought of everything. This is actually the captain's quarters, but it can also be converted into how you see it now. So it's like an open office, kind of like lounging setup. But what the cool thing is, right behind me over there, it's got beds that come down, layout, and then desk, and a full bathroom right over there. And I'll walk into this bathroom because every bathroom in here is super special. Full walk-in shower with a rain head, floating sink, tons of lighting in the mirrors, and again, a rectangle window just to let in more natural light. This is all you need and it only gets better from here. Okay, now that I've finished up over on this side and I finished up this lower half of the floor, let's go take a look outside and all the insane features that come along with it. So as I come on out here, this is where I'm gonna get lost a little bit, but got the whole control station right over here. You know, if you're a boat person and you know, the, if you're a captain and you know the, what this stuff means, then you're about to be drooling all over your keyboard. Because check it out, we got spud four, three, two, and one, four spuds. We got the, uh, this is where you go fast and slow. We got a nav system. And you know what? I'm gonna put my camera over this, let your eyes wander, but it's got the best of the best because I know that they put it into this place. That's all they do is the best. So then as I pass the control station, it's gonna lead us out into the, that's right, there's a summer kitchen, of course there is. Grill, sink, everything you need for the perfect grilling experience. You know where I come from, people on boats, they cook a lot and it's sometimes, it tastes better than being on the land. I don't know how, but this is where you do it. You catch that fish, you cook that fish. And listen, if you're vegan watching this, I'll bring, I'll bring, some, I'll bring some alternatives. I think about people. So this is where I made the intro for the video, and if you see it out here, the, you, your mind is racing, I know. The amount of possibilities, remember we are on a boat that is in, basically resembles a house, and just look at the amount of space out here, 1,500 square feet to be exact, and this actually retracts, so when you're driving, it's a lot more aerodynamic, but it extends out for entertaining as a platform, and you got that great see-through barrier so you can enjoy the water nothing's nothing's obstructed it's just really incredible and then these gorgeous windows this is where you can see the design of the whole thing and the design is impeccable these windows actually completely open up and i'll show you that right now i'm not gonna let you out and then you see all the windows completely open up indoor and outdoor basically as if you're when you get to that Medi mediterranean and you park the boat up throw the doors open it's a that's an insane place some we're on justin bieber level at this point if you're watching this justin bieber huge fan and then all impact glass, hurricane resistant. I know the first thing people are gonna think about is, oh, what happens with a hurricane? So this thing is built to last, stable enough, just like a house, and it's ready to go. As I come across to this side, more lounging space, and let me just, this could be you. This could be you, but you playing. As we come across here, this is where it leads to the other side of the uh, terrace, where we were by the living room. This is like the other side of that living room window. So a few things to note, 
besides having just more space for people to be outside and enjoying everything, this platform actually lowers so that when you're in the water and a boat is coming up and you want to get passengers off a boat and bring them onto this, you uh, lower this platform down, it goes into the water, picks them up and raises back. I think that's really awesome. There's a shower outdoors, perfect for them to get all that salt water off before they go inside. And you know what? Even if you, after they washed off, you still don't want them to walk in all wet. There's actually access straight to the front door through right here. And the cool thing about this is that it leads straight to the front and it's all covered on the floors. So no one has to get anything wet and it's easy to clean up afterwards. So from here, let's go ahead and take a look at the second story of this beautiful place. So to come up, the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the main suite, the masters, if you will. So the first thing I notice when I walk in, besides being <laughs> having amazing views, is that the closet, all, everything here you see is a closet. Closet, 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 closet goes all the way down just, who mean, one, two, three, there's so many closets, tons. And as you walk in, floor to ceiling windows that go all the way across. I'm just, I'm ready, I'm ready to front flip into that bed. Just a nice little space. I mean, most people who have like a main suite, they need like a place just to conduct a little business, conduct a little business, you know how it is. Nice place to do it, because when you turn around, you're just in paradise, so absolutely. Full body mirror. Everyone needs one of those, you know what I mean? Gotta check the fit, make sure you're killing it. And can you honestly even imagine how amazing it would be to just wake up and the first thing that you see when you look out of your bed is the views of this ocean. Oh my, it's just incredible, just the best views you can ever imagine. And wherever you take them, that's where your views are. You can move this thing all over the place. This isn't, this isn't a condo, this isn't a penthouse, this is a moving villa. That's right, and guess what? That's right, there's a tub right here. And I know what you might be, Jason, did you walk in the bathroom but you didn't show us because you didn't film properly? Absolutely not. We're still in the master bedroom. The bed is right over there. This is where the tub is. Now, I don't wanna put ideas in your head, but I can sh I'm sure you can understand why this would be awesome to have. Yeah, the views, they're cool. Outdoor balcony for when you're done, just to stretch and dry off. And I know what a million people are gonna be saying, Jason, why would I take a shower right there so everyone can see me? How could you do this, Jason? Who? Who is seeing you? Do they have x-ray vision? Can they see through blinds? I don't think so. What windows? Do you see windows? Not me. Enough, enough being dramatic. From here, I'm gonna show you the master bathroom. So as soon as I come in, double sinks, walk in so wait hold on you think this is the <laughs> look at the size of the shower this thing is huge dual rain heads so got one on here one on the other side window so you can see out just get that natural light in floating toilet over here double sinks as mentioned before another light to let in natural another window to let in natural light and as i leave the master suite we're gonna go take a look at the guest suite more storage just in case you need some extra space and it leads us to that next bedroom. As expected, every single room in here is gonna have an amazing view. It wouldn't make sense without it. Of course they have it. On my left, a full shower with again a rain head. Starting to love these bathrooms, by the way. The design is insane. And then of course, the piece de resistance. This floor to ceiling window overlooking the bed. Like you know when you wake up in a hotel and you're like, how did I get, I forgot I was at a hotel. Imagine you wake up and you look out and you're on the ocean. Please. Nice little corner over here, some outlets, nice place to sit. And just really appreciate these views. Everything about this is so spectacular and then great views of downstairs. Then as I leave this bedroom, it's gonna take us into the VIP suite. And this is a VIP suite because it's not a master suite, but it has all the facilities of a master suite. Right, wow. Gorgeous floor to ceiling window when I come in, so right away I'm already amazed. This is, these are your closets right over here. And then on my right, full bathroom, with again the rain head shower, tons of lights, a window to let in natural light and dual sinks. Of course, more amazing views. It's gonna have it, the same desk that you kind of saw in the other rooms. 
and then a king size bed. Another reason these are it's a VIP suite is because in this room and the master suite there are king size beds. And again, that remote to lower and raise the blinds for privacy. And just like the master bedroom, up here has these windows that go all the way in, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, they go right here. But they open up onto the terrace, and the terrace out here has so much space. And this guest terrace is actually where I'm gonna end this video. This is one of the most special tours I've ever done, hands down, making a new category for this. So beautiful, and I really hope that this reaches the buyer because it's honestly an amazing company. Everyone who works with this company is so cool and awesome, and this is just a prototype. So if you want something special that no one else can have, this is what you get. You don't get another boat. Everyone's flexing their boats. You get a floating villa that can be transported across the bay, stilted up on those 40-foot poles. It's just everything you could ask for and more. If you have any questions about it, I'm your man. I'm your guy. We're, we're friends. You and me. I know you've been following me for a while. We're good friends. Contact me. Let's, let's get this thing. Let's make it happen. I appreciate you.